good fortune the other day to be on the Catalina flying boat that was the first to find the Bismarck after she had been temporarily lost. We set off from our base at about 3.30 in the morning. And after about seven hours search, we came across her right across our track. She was only a dull black shape in the mist at first, so we had to come closer to make a clearer identification. We ought to course the starboard. We were flying low at the time, but climbed up to about 1,500 feet into the clouds. But unfortunately, the cloud ended right over the ship, and we got everything she'd got in the way of anti-aircraft. It shook the ship around a bit, or at least my ship, and uh, the rigger who was washing up the breakfast dishes I had quite an exciting time. My second pilot took a violent avoiding action, and uh, we managed to get out of the barrage. We had to keep away from the Bismarck for a while, while we inspected damage done to the hull of the aircraft by shrapnel. Luckily, this wasn't too bad, and uh, the um, holes that were made in the hull below the waterline were quickly plugged. We had to keep a careful eye on the petrol gauges for a while in case we had a leak, because if, it, if, we, if we had, we didn't have much chance of getting five or six hundred miles back home. While in the barrage, we had sent off a signal reporting the position of the enemy. This signal was intercepted by another Catalina aircraft, which was searching an area to the north. She proceeded immediately to the spot and eventually relieved us. This was just as well, as it was imperative that we should land at our base in daylight owing to the holes in our hull. We landed just after 9.30 in the evening, after flying for just over 18 hours.